This is a difficult, difficult situation for all victims and survivors of sexual violence. The London Police Service have just for the very first time addressed the sexual assault allegations and charges laid against five members of Canada's 2018 World Junior Hockey Team. Everyone wants answers, but I cannot compromise the investigation by providing specific details. What's pretty typical with uh, press conferences such as this is police will say that they're very limited in what they can say about the specific allegations because the case is now before the courts. But one thing that was quite striking to me is Chief Tai Trong gave a very uh, forceful apology to the complainant, EM, and her family uh, for the fact that this has taken so long um, to reach a conclusion. On behalf of the London Police Service, my sincerest apology to the victim, to her family, for the amount of time that it has taken to reach this point. This morning was the first court appearance for the five players who have been charged. They are Mike McLeod and Cal Foote. Uh, Dylan Dubé, Alex Fermentin, and Carter Hart. All of the players have uh, denied wrongdoing and said they will vigorously defend themselves. They did not make uh, a physical appearance in court. Their lawyers were there uh, via video. There have actually been three investigations into the alleged group attack that took place in the early morning hours in June uh, 2018. One was from Hockey Canada, the sports governing body for hockey. Another was from the National Hockey League. And then we had the London Police investigation. The National Hockey League addressed their investigation for the very first time last week. Commissioner Gary Bettman was in Toronto for All-Star Weekend. And he acknowledged that that probe has been done for many months, but that they are not going to release it now because the case is before the courts. They said that they were considering their next steps at the time that they learned that the charges were coming down. As for next steps, this case is now before the courts. We know this is a slow process. Uh, the next hearing uh, is going to be in 12 weeks, but we are going to be going through a lot of procedural stuff. Lawyers are getting disclosure. They're getting a chance to look at the evidence against their clients as they start preparing a defense. I know there are questions regarding the initial investigation and the findings of the 2022 review. It is important to understand that as the chief of police, while I am committed to transparency and accountability. I must also ensure that I do not compromise the ongoing legal process. There's a lot of scrutiny on this police force, and I think what you saw today in there is um, a recognition that there are going to be um, questions lingering about what happened with this case, and um, that there seemed to be a, a, a real promise that we will get to those questions at the appropriate time. Now, that itself might be years from now. So I appreciate that these are questions that you want to know and I think you deserve to know. But right now, I can't answer that. I will answer that at the appropriate time, though.